Hello everyone. This is your host, your friend, your text-to-speech narrator, Sally. Here with another exciting video. I will be subbing in for Jet today, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let me know how well I did in the comments section below. DC has recently been releasing a new digital comic every day. In our daily comic review series, we'll be reviewing the latest DC Digital First, brand new releases, each day they come out. Tonight's comic book review video is going to be about DC Superhero Girls Infinite Frenemies Issue 2. If you would like to purchase this book, and help support the channel, then please use the Amazon affiliate link, located in the description box below. First, I will give a summary of the book's plot. After that I will tell you my favorite part, and least favorite part of the book. I will then end the video by describing who I would recommend this book to. Now let us start with the summary. Zaytana is the head of the dance committee at Metropolis High School. She informs the other superhero girls of the upcoming dance. Wonder Woman doesn't know what a dance is. Supergirl thinks dances are lame. Batgirl thinks dances are awesome. Bumblebee feels nervous about the dance because she doesn't know if she'll be able to get a date. The girls try to describe the customs of a school dance to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman says that the superhero girls shouldn't use their powers at the dance. Wonder Woman forces Garth to be Bumblebee's date to the dance. Wonder Woman forces Steve Trevor to be her date to the dance. Steve Trevor doesn't even go to Metropolis High School. He actually attends a military academy, but Wonder Woman does not care. Batgirl volunteers to be the DJ. Zaytana tells Batgirl that there is already a DJ. Batgirl begs to be the DJ and reveals that she has created a new gadget that is a music player, laser light show, and popcorn maker combined. Zaytana allows Batgirl to be the new DJ, as long as she promises not to cause any trouble. Later at the dance, Supergirl is eating meatballs at the food table. Green Lantern is protesting the meatballs at the food table. Zaytana photo bombs a couple's prom picture, and then claims that she improved it. Zaytana casts a spell to remove the meatballs and Green Lantern's protest sign. Supergirl doesn't know what to do at the dance now that there are no meatballs. Zaytana tells Supergirl to go dance. Supergirl treats the dance floor like a mosh pit, and starts knocking people down left and right. Wonder Woman is upset that Zaytana is using her powers at the dance. Zaytana says that her powers are helping keep the dance fun. Wonder Woman gets distracted by her attraction to Steve Trevor, and Zaytana uses that moment to exit her discussion with Wonder Woman. Zaytana forces Bumblebee and Garth to dance. The two are reluctant at first, but then they enjoy it. Livewire attacks the dance and alters the frequency of Batgirl's gadget to force everyone to uncontrollably dance. Livewire is upset because she was going to be the original DJ for the dance, until Batgirl stole her spot. Students are shown uncontrollably dabbing, twerking and flashing. Livewire has electrified all the doors and windows to prevent anyone from escaping. The superhero girls sneak away and suit up, by hiding behind the photos area. Supergirl tries to use the bump to knock down Livewire, but Livewire dodges by doing the electric slide. Bumblebee can't stop spinning like a ballerina, so she can't aim any of her attacks. Green Lantern creates a construct around Bumblebee to stop her from accidentally shooting everyone, and to protect her from Livewire's lighting blast. Batgirl asks Zaytana to distract Livewire. Zaytana ballerina kicks Livewire in the face. The two enter a beam struggle of magic versus lightning. Batgirl cuts off the music. Wonder Woman grabs Livewire's arms and redirects them to prevent her from shooting anyone. Green Lantern captures Livewire in a rubber, tire construct to prevent her from using her electricity powers. The superhero girls agree that even though things didn't go as planned, that the dance was still fun. The girls take Livewire to the police and then go out for ice cream. End of summary. My favorite part was the dance battle. The idea of the heroes and villains having to combine the use of their powers with specific dance moves, in order to fight each other, is actually pretty neat. My least favorite part of the book was Livewire. 
I get that she wanted to be the DJ, but I don't understand why she didn't just fight back girl for the opportunity to become DJ. I think that would have made more sense than forcing everyone to dance and electrifying the doors and windows. Also this entire book is Zaytana's fault, and she never pays for any of her mistakes. I think this book might have been better if they beat Live Wire, by having Zaytana apologize to Live Wire and letting her DJ the dance. I would recommend this book to fans of DC Superhero Girls, fans of books targeted toward younger readers, and fans of books featuring super-powered dance battles. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to smash that like button. Favorite, comment, subscribe and ding, 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 ring that notification bell, so that you can be notified whenever we do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your text-to-speech assistant, Sally, logging out. Peace.